Hi guys, JP here from Best Video, and today I'm really excited to bring this video to you, where I sit down and chat with Andrew from Black House, one of our builders in the Sunshine Coast. Coming on board with you guys, which freed me up a lot to focus on the things that I want to do and specialise in. It's definitely a good way to get to the end result quicker. He specialises in high-end, architecturally designed homes. Working with us, we were able to implement the story marketing strategy, uh, and now he's got a consistent flow of those ideal projects where he gets to really pick and choose. So in today's chat, we're gonna be talking about what's really worked well for him and what he's doing now to really take his business to that next level. So sit back and enjoy this. Normally, we might have a bit of a framework to do these sorts of chats or conversations, uh, but recently I've been reaching out to some builders and just asking them what are some questions that they had. The first one I came up a few times, why do you, love building so much i guess it's enjoyable yeah. it's yeah it's good to see the end result yeah it's hard to get there sometimes but it's at the end of it you can step back and and see something you've achieved something you've done um especially with the projects that i do i guess some of the smaller stuff that i've done over the years is not really enjoyable but yeah. that's why i specialized in what i do that's right. Uh, one thing I forgot to add was uh, Andrew specialises in creating and building architecturally designed homes. Amazing stuff. Uh, thank you very much for uh, letting me follow you and Franco today on uh, one of the projects. Um, just seeing that under major renovation, really excited to see what that transforms into. Um, so thanks for that. Um, what, from a client perspective, what do you what do you really get out of it from that side of things? Uh, for my clients, yeah, um, I enjoy I enjoy seeing their faces at the end of it yeah. and seeing how happy they are um, because they a lot of the time they can't see exactly what is what it's going to look like, what it's going to be. Now we do three D visuals, that sort of thing, with a lot of them, so it's a bit better. Uh, but previously, it's, like, it's just a black and white set of plans, and they have no idea. <laughs> and even still, you yeah. build, you, you put the frame up or the roof on, and they walk in, and they go, oh, "I had no idea this room was this big." <laughs> yeah, it's eight meters by seven meters. It's a big room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow. That's. I guess that's where it comes down to a big part of it is trust. They just have to trust you. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I, I mean, I, I make sure I'm honest with, with everybody I deal with. It's, yeah, if you try and tell a story to somebody, you'll always get caught out regardless. So there's no point. It's just be upfront and yeah. it seems to work well. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, one question that came up from um, a few people I was speaking to was, and this is something that we see a lot, is when it comes to differentiating yourself, uh, often a lot of the guys I talk to, uh, I'll ask them, you know, what makes you guys different or what do you believe is different? Um, for yourself, how do you, if you would articulate that, I probably did ask you that when we originally chatted yeah. uh, over a year ago. Yeah. What do you feel is different about yourself? I enjoy seeing what the client gets at the end yeah. and how they react to it. Um, so it's not, it's. I'm not there to beat my chest and tell everybody, look how look at the great job I've done. Mm. I'd rather just quietly get along and mm. give it to the owners and say, here's your beautiful new home. Yeah. Uh, so it's, yeah, it's not so ego egotistical as some some of the other or some other builders that are around. Yeah. Now that we have gotten to know you and how you work with clients and we've met your clients. Um, it's incredible watching you do your thing and create that transformation. How are you communicating your value before we start working together? Uh, difficultly. Okay. It was, a, 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 I guess, a, a bit of a long process for, for some clients. Yeah, they, I mean, they see, obviously see builds that I've done before, but it's uh, about having the answers for them when they ask a question. They want, they'd want, they like to know something more about how the frame goes together or how the house is built. And you explain it to them, and I guess in a way that they can understand it. Uh, so that can be, yeah, I guess it was a long process, and it still can be. 
a lot of conversations. Yeah. 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 And it's, yeah, the, and the right conversations, yeah. not wasting anybody's time. Mm, that's a, yeah, that's very important. Uh, and those, how are you getting the opportunity for those conversations? Where was the work coming from? Majority was all referral originally. Um, so I did zero advertising when I first started. Um, I had a couple of architects that I knew and I'd worked with that helped me with some projects and then it was people that I'd worked with before that wanted to build a house or knock down their house and then someone in the street came past and had a chat and then I'd knock down their house too a year later <laughs> and it just yeah. flow on uh, I guess a flow on from there but there was it was a bit sporadic definitely compared to what it is now and that was that was me establishing what I was doing yeah. and when I first started I didn't didn't want to take over the world I yeah. still don't want to take over the world but it was just about keeping me busy and if I did one or two projects at a time and I could earn, earn a living from it yeah. and I didn't need to do 200 I didn't want to do 50 yeah. it was yeah. doing the right thing for a couple of clients yeah for sure for sure. Um, I might be jumping now, but just some of the things you said there. Uh, what are some of the key things that you think you've brought with you from prior to starting Black House? I mean, you've had a, uh, I thought, pretty interesting experience that you've accumulated elsewhere. Yep. What were some of the great, the, what, was, what would you say the top three things are that you took from previous experience into Black House? Probably trying to do the opposite as, of, of what <laughs> a lot of people do. Uh, a lot of the bigger volume builders, um, seeing how some people can treat cl their their clients or their contractors was a was a big big no um, would be the main thing I imagine um, and some of them I, some of them some of the other builders did really well and I picked picked up on that um, so it's yeah little things from different builders over the years over twenty plus years but it might have been something that they did or something that they didn't do that I picked up yep. and took that with me. Um, yeah, paying trades on time, treating the clients with respect, trying to trying to work with them so they're, uh, I guess they're a client for life and not, not just a one-time build, thank you, see you later. Definitely. When they want to move out of that house and they want to build something bigger, we would... And they're the first person they're going to call. Yeah. yeah. That's a big thing. Um, yeah, always leaving that relationship and that journey as best as possible. Yeah. 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 You, you want it to be enjoyable for them. Then there's obviously always going to be issues throughout any build of, I guess, a large scale or even smaller ones. But at at the end of it, you you want to, you don't want to be having a battle with the client. You want them to be happy. You want them to love what's happened. If we look back at prior to our relationship starting, um, Black House and Biz Video, uh, what got you, convinced you to book that conversation with me? I just thought it was time to, to start advertising. I, I thought about it for a little while and I'd been plotting on and just not battling, but Picking up jobs as they came, they weren't coming to me. There was a bit of a delay. Some of the projects got pushed back. So it was like, well, why not? Yeah. And everybody, yeah, I, I looked at what everybody else was doing in the market yeah. or I tried to look across the board and, again, didn't like what they were doing and did something different. And, yeah, what you, what you guys had was, um, yeah, they showed me that basically. Can you remember that conversation you had or, or how did that, because that's a conversation, I think that's often the next step for a lot of people who might be watching this, yep. um, that discovery session with me. Yep. I think from memory, yours was possibly the shortest, most, <laughs> most efficient. <laughs> it's just like, ask your question. Yep. All right, that was pretty clear. Great. And this? Yep. Wow. All right. Andrew, Andrew knows what he wants. <laughs> it's nice and clear. <laughs> um, that was epic. And, and the call, you were like, yep, I know what I want. Let's go. That's pretty much, I think, the next day we were on or something. Yeah. Or within that week we were on. Yep. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, I'd, I'd remember the call, definitely. I remember, yeah, having that conversation. And it was, I'd been through, I guess I'd been through the journey of looking at all the other videos, yeah. some of the other videos you'd done at the time and liked what I saw um, and wanted something something similar or wanted the, a similar result. Not, yeah, the, right. not the same video because a lot of other people in the market everything's the same yeah. Uh, yeah whether it's real estate or other builders yeah. it's uh, it's not um yeah it's not unique yeah yeah definitely um yeah that's something we have definitely found with working and we work with a lot of builders and each and every one of them is different yep. um yes they can all you know run their projects and build homes but as individuals Every single one of them is different. Um, the more we get to know them, the more we see that it's crazy. Uh, and that, I think that's why it frustrates us so much when, when, I, when any of us talk to, say, a builder who's not yet a client yep. and they don't know how to differentiate themselves and we ask them what makes you different. I can build on time. I can deliver a great quality build, good materials, got a great team. Yep. It's like, yep, that's fantastic, but... That's what the next guy says. Yeah, we've got 50 of them. Yep. <laughs> yep, spot on. <laughs> um, I've, got, I've got 20 in my phone. If we, <laughs> we, can, yep. we can speak to them too. But yep. yeah, it's, it's, it's often hard to, tr to articulate. Uh, yeah, articulate that to your clients and yeah. show them or potential clients that I use the, only the best products. I've got the great, great trades. Um, but my trades do work for other builders, I know, yeah. and they're at the same sort of level. Yeah. So it's what makes you different from them. Yeah, it's all individual, really. Yeah. And a big thing is, as you say as well, is not just saying but showing. Yeah. Uh, that's another big thing with, you know, if you just put it on paper, that's good, but, you know, it doesn't matter how thick your quote proposal is they yep. don't know how to read it yeah they can't read the value in it yeah and yeah, i had that with a client just recently this week there was my my proposal and another another commercial builder's proposal and the other proposal was literally one page with 10 lines on it and no detail or specification or anything like that and they obviously they were cheaper mm -hmm. and i said to the client well, it's paper printed right yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And I said to the client, look, look, there's there's a lot of money we can take out of your build if we want to. Mm. If I didn't have to give you a specification of what I was giving you, I could I could strip out hundreds of thousands of dollars. Mm. And it was the it's the truth. Yeah. Uh, and they, oh, oh, okay, that's interesting. I said, we'll ask them what's in there first before you get you get to that. And then um, yeah, so they had that conversation. They came back to me, and then yeah, we signed a contract. Yeah. So it's sometimes it's just education. Yeah. 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 But I've had the complete opposite sometimes as well. Whereas they don't ask, and then they just keep going on with the other guy. That's the might be cheaper, might yeah. be the same price, and they yeah. They pay later on. Oh, exactly right. Yeah. And it's yeah. It, it, oh, I finished a build just recently. Um, one we're doing the um, case study on mm. and she's in an estate and she she's walking around the other houses getting built at the moment and um, <laughs> she, she, she said, I can't believe some of the horror stories that we've had that I get from all the other people building. Oh, man. I, she goes, I had a dream. <laughs> it's, it's I, like I didn't the, know. The, I didn't know. Tennis I was, lunch. Yeah. It's like, how's your build going? I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Oh, I love yeah. my journey. What I do you mean? My build up. Yeah, what do you mean? It was great. <laughs> but, We're doing the second one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it, um, yeah, so that, yeah, she's realised now that how easy it was. And that's, yeah, that's, that's good as well. Like, I enjoy that part. To know that yes, we had problems. Yes, something there were there were things that needed to be fixed, but yeah. that's whole part of the process. Yeah. And then for her to be able to look back on and say, "Oh yeah, that was that's actually pretty good compared to <laughs> what everyone else is dealing with." One of them said they had uh, 
they basically they'd got their slab down, but they weren't looking at finishing the house um, until eleven months time. And a standard, standard project build, a, a big project builder doing it. It's like, oh no, we we won't be finished until then. <laughs> she, she just yeah. <laughs> what do you say to that? It's my first house. Great. Oh yeah, we'll we'll be in it next year. And obviously, it takes you'll time. Be in, you'll be in time for Christmas but next year. Yeah. Th those sort of builders pride themselves on uh, on sixteen weeks, not eleven months. Yeah. My, my, a lot of my builds are 10, 11 months more because there's so much in them. Yeah. But you also communicate that, the client knows that before they start. At the, at the very start. Yeah. How long is the build going to take? 18 months. Yeah. yeah. Again, back to communication. Um, for you, I mean, I know it was a year, over a year ago when you came on board, but there's that first stage, which is the story development session. Uh, can you remember that? And what were some of the things that you got out of that? I remember, I remember being in the, in the, the office there mm -hmm. and I just had to basically answer questions honestly with what I wanted. Yeah. I, didn't have to, I didn't have to drag the information out of anywhere. It was just it was str easy, straightforward. Yeah, um, yeah it, was, there wasn't, it wasn't like pulling teeth. It was... <laughs> um, yeah, it was very easy for me, really. It was, yeah, sit down. Yeah. As long as you're, I guess you're... Being honest. Yeah, as long as you're being honest. And I wasn't even exactly clear on what I wanted from it. Yeah. I, I knew I wanted something. I didn't know what I was going to get. Yeah. Everything's, everything's individual. Mm. Uh, and that, that whole process helped mm. to find that. There's obviously a framework behind it, but I didn't need to worry about that. That's good. <laughs> good. Well, that's that's our intention. Yeah. That you just get like your clients come in and just enjoy it. That's what we want. We want to lead you and all of our builders through the, the whole process, so it's enjoyable, and you get the outcome that you're after. Yep. Uh, prior to coming on board, or just when you came on board, did you have any hesitations? Or if we go before coming on board, because yep. uh, we had that conversation, and then you came on board a couple of days later. Yep. Uh, for you, what were some of the hesitations or what was going through your mind there? Uh, I guess I was looking at, like it is, it is an outlay, obviously, it's an outlay and without coming from a, a place where I'd spent zero dollars on advertising and it was me taking some photos of with, with a phone or with a camera that I'd bought at the time, yep. Uh, there was like going from zero to, I guess, that step. Yeah. And that was probably the only hesitation is like, well, is it the right choice? And well, definitely. Mm. There, wasn't a, there wasn't any, I didn't have an issue with, I guess, your professionalism or anything like that or the quality of the videos you guys were producing. It was more, is it the right thing for me? Yeah. And well, yeah, a year later, definitely. Oh, something I mentioned to you earlier this morning on site, I know some guys I talk to, the biggest hesitation for them really is just they don't know what they're going to say or be in front of the camera. Yep. Um, I know we just touched on it, but was that something, a concern for you at all at any stage? I don't know what I'm going to say now. Yeah. What, 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 <laughs> I didn't know what we were going to say for this meeting, but yeah. it's, yeah, I, I, didn't have to, I didn't have to script anything and that's... Yeah, and that's not what I was after. I, I'm not reading reading anything out. It's all Hi, at I'm all. Andrew from. Yeah, 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 exactly right. And even dealing with all all of my clients, it's always natural. If you've got a connection, you it'll it'll show, and you'll want to. I guess they'll want to build with you if that's the case. Whereas if you're completely different people and you're clashing heads, it's best to part ways then especially you're going to have a long-term relationship with them, like a, yeah. a build for even six months. Yeah. That's, a, that's a relationship. You're going to be interact <laughs> Yeah, most definitely. Um, I know a lot of guys call it a marriage. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, a big, this is a big question that comes up a lot. Uh, have things changed from when we weren't working together to 
us working together. Yes. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Massively. Okay. To, uh, so it's, I guess, leads were coming in or people would contact me sporadically yeah. and it's, I guess, part of a whole a whole process that I went through once I had that, that story there yeah. uh, or the overview story. So that was, I guess, a step and you guys helped me through that process as well, what we do after that. Um, but then I, I, I started ramping things up on my end, um, contacting other people, just getting it out there. And the way that, I guess, uh, Corne showed me or basically said, this is what you do with your overview story, put it there and you start contacting people. It's, it's in everybody's face straight away. Um, yeah, and that's massive. That's something we always try to encourage our guys to do. Um, because there's the paid advertising side of things and then there's the organic yep. advertising. Organic, yes, a part of that is organically posting it on social media, but there's also other organic marketing, like you know, putting it out there, calling people, contacting it, putting it in front of people. Yep. Um, so that's fantastic uh, to hear that you did that. So you said that there definitely was a change. Yep. What was the first change you started to see? How did you measure, oh, this looks like it might be working? People contacting me, or the number of people contacting me. Okay. So there was, yeah, I mean, I might have gone months before that without a new lead coming in or yeah. something like that, and then it was just straight away. Yeah. That's and good. Yeah, I mean, growth on social media followers, you yeah. can look at that as well, but I haven't even bothered measuring it. It's yeah. just the amount of contact that you get in there. Yeah. Or people know who you are, know what you're doing. Yeah, people now around you actually knowing what Andrew does. Yeah, yeah. So I had people, people contact me, the friends. Yeah. I didn't know that was your company. <laughs> like, oh, thanks, mate. <laughs> what do you yeah. mean? And yeah. it's obviously not closed circle friends. They they knew, but other people like people that we've known for years. Yeah. Oh, is that are you doing that now? Where? No worries. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thanks, mate. That's great. Um, and now we're and, on the same page. Oh, oh, I should have got you to build my Jubilex. It's like, yeah, yeah, oh, well, should have done that a few few months ago, shouldn't I? <laughs> so, cool. So you said there, you know, what you noticed changed. How long did it take from once the story was created? We gave you a framework to implement and use it. How long did it take until you started seeing something happen? Weeks. Really, right. if that, yeah, yeah, it was it was pretty quick. A, a lot of my builds and what I do, though, there is a, a long design phase with a lot of these people. So most of them were contacting me early on. Some of them had were a little bit further down the track. Um, so there's still like they're still filtering through. Like there's from initial contact to when I actually start on site can be well over twelve months. So there's, I mean, some of them that have came through when I initially did the, the contacted me when we did the story video, yeah. have just signed now, mm. just just recently, and will start in the next next few weeks. Wow. So it is a, yeah, there is it that is drawn lead out, time. yeah, yeah. yeah. So I mean, there, a lot of people will spend six months plus eighteen months with an architect or with a building designer as well. Mm. So they'll come to me, we want you to build a house, and I'll say, look, go and see this guy or this lady. And that whole process runs its own course, but it's, yeah, it's, it's, it yeah. can be a long process. Do and you find I, people are contacting you? I know some guys I talk to are frustrated, like I talked to you this morning on site about the one guy who keeps having to quote projects in tenders that he gets from architects or designers. Yeah. Um, he wants people to be contacting him directly. Is that something, was that a shift that you saw or? Some of them were. Okay. And I'm like to each their own. I yeah. don't really care. A lot of people will have, they'll find a designer that they love or an architect they'll love and they'll, they'll find that. And then if, and then I can work with, with them from there. Yeah, but right. the same, I guess the opposite side of the story is if they don't know what they want, then I can, recommend 
architects or building designers that they should go and see. And then I'll help them with that whole process as much or as little as they want. So it depends if what they'd like to do. Like it, one of the big things I don't like seeing in the whole industry is they'll go and see a building designer or an architect and they'll come out and they'll go to the builders and then it'll be 50% over budget, way over budget. So if we started through the whole process a little bit earlier, would have, we would have said, look, you're going to be over your budget for what you want. So we need to look at that before you end up spend, spending $20,000 or $10,000 with an engineer, another twenty with the with the architect, or some of them, hundreds of thousands of dollars. And then realise that, and that, like that money's gone. Yeah, you it doesn't come anyways. back. Yeah. Oh man. Um, for you, was it worth the investment? Yes. Excellent. How do you measure ROI? Because that's a question I get a lot. If they say to me, "What's the ROI?" If if I had a builder here on the fence, and they would ask you. What's the ROI or how do you measure the ROI? I think the value, the, the, I guess there's obviously a measurement there that you've got with leads coming in, contacts that you're getting, I guess the, but it's, I didn't see it as a going and doing a fly drop or something like that or going to a home show and telling people, look, I can build your house, I can build your house and, or setting up a display home. It's about, uh, I guess, the long game. It's about being noticed, not today, not tomorrow, but in six months' time, yeah. being in the back of their mind when they want to build yeah. or when they get to that point. Well, they might not be, they might not want to spend a million dollars on a build now. They might be looking, talking with a project builder, or buying their first home, and then in five years' time they'll knock it down. Yeah. I want that. I guess I want them to know they should be calling me then yeah. or contacting me and then. And seed planted today and then just water it for the next couple of years. Yeah, and it's, yeah, but people don't look through the paper and say, well, I hope they still don't. <laughs> oh, this builder's got his ad in the <laughs> local yeah, paper, let's call him. Yes, if you're building a deck or something yeah. like that, but not for the type of projects that I do yeah. and the, yeah. It's yeah one of the one of the I guess guys I used to deal with still deal with him now um, in from one of my previous roles, and when I was starting it out, we were chatting chatting about it, and he said, oh yes, what he and he had it as well. He goes, oh no, I'm in it for the long term. Just sit back, do what I do best, yeah. and let it play out. Yeah. And I guess I was doing that when I started my business, but it. It was there was a quicker way to get from A to B, yeah. and I guess bringing you guys on board or coming on board with you guys, whichever way we see it, that step from A to B came was made it a hell of a lot quicker. Because <laughs> that's the goal, and so that's you know I think it's I'm so glad that we get the opportunity to have this kind of conversation yeah. to hear that feedback because um, often it's like this is an ongoing relationship in your space when you when you hand over you get the feedback maybe from the client then as how much they love the journey and everything yep. um whereas with us it you know we're always progressing and pushing and what's the next thing how can we make it even better yep. um so it's good to hear that that's yep. really cool um oh yeah big congrats you won a recent award yes yeah picked up uh two awards for the one house nice Individual is size custom home, 950 to 1.25, and then best pool, residential pool in it as well. What did it feel like to be recognised for your work there? Yeah, it's good, finally. Yeah. And it, um, yeah, it, it's good to have it there. And it's... Up there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they are up there. Yeah. But it's more about, like, I, I know the clients are happy with it, the architect's happy with it. You ask the question at the end. What What did I do wrong? What did What was right? Are you happy with it? Yeah. Well, they'll tell you if they're not happy. Um, but to have it's just a, I guess it's another arrow in the in the quiver to, when people say, "Oh, can you build?" It's like, "Oh, well, 
yes, here you go, this is, this is something I've done before. And along with all the, I guess, photos, things like that, that's, that's great. And you can do anything to a photo to make it look pretty if you really wanted to. Yeah. Um, but that's why I'm excited about the case studies we're doing with you. Yeah. Because then it's, because you're right, your photos can, you can say anything when you put the photo in front of them. Yeah. But if they watch a case study where they're going to really get to know your clients who've worked with you, who've walked their journey with you, who yeah. loved it, man, I can't wait for yeah. Franco to, to create that and create these case studies we've got coming and then you start using those. Yeah. That's going to be... Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. That's, I guess, the next step. And it's, I guess, I would have liked to have do it, do it, done it sooner or started it earlier, but it really depends on the project and what I'm Absolutely. trying to do. Um, so it's... I wanted it to be the right project or the right projects to be able to showcase because that's really what I enjoy and what I like doing and I'd rather rather get that out there. Big time. And that's something, yeah, we'd always encourage that. There's some guys in your position that come on board that might have that project already underway or have had one or done one of their ideal projects or others that haven't quite done what they, th what for you was an ideal project, amazing clients, and then we just wait because that'll come and yeah. and then we capture that. Yeah, definitely. Um, what would you say, actually before I jump to that, uh, what's next for Black House? What's, what's like, next? Yeah, you've, you've achieved some pretty amazing things in the last 12, 24 months. Yeah, yeah so I mean we've been just over four years now we've been going yeah. since I first stepped out on my own yeah. um, looking at looking at a I guess a couple of employees at the moment just yeah. because of the volume of what's what's coming up since I guess this year obviously everything has gone a little bit silly in the building industry but it's uh, I need to have somebody else there in my team to drive the jobs forward yeah. while I make sure everything is there in the background for them. Definitely. So what role are you looking to fill next, you reckon? Uh, supervisor, I would think. Yeah. Uh, just purely on-site driving progress. Yeah. And um, I've brought on a few carpenters in the last last few months yeah. because of the, I guess, the need to have them at hand when we needed them. Yeah. Whereas previously it's been a lot of well, subcontract work mm -hmm. because there wasn't the volume there for them full time. So it's, yeah, it's, it's good to be able to have that there. So that's, I guess that's grown that way, but yeah, we're, um, yeah, looking, looking good for next year. Yeah, epic. So Andrew, you've got, you know, 20 plus years experience in this space. Uh, Black House has been going for four years. What would you say to someone, a younger builder, just stepping out, maybe they're in their first year of, of running their own company. What is some useful advice that you wish you had back then? 20 years ago or four years ago? Four years ago. Um, it's, yeah, it's not easy. It'll, it'll be challenging. Uh, you can't let anything, you just have to try and keep you, keep you stay on the path. Like it's, there's always gonna be problems. There's always gonna be issues. There's gonna, it's gonna be up and down, but as long as you stick to what you want and you, yeah, I guess you know, you know what you'd like at the end. And I, I'll be honest, I didn't know what I wanted when I started it. I just knew I didn't want to work for anybody else. I wanted to do my own thing. And I, I'd always been telling people, or been showing people how they should be running their business in some of my other roles. Yeah. And it's, I thought, well, well let's, let's give it a go. Yeah. I know what they should be doing, so let's do that. And it's, yeah, it's hard and reach out like if you don't know the answer or you want to we want some help try and find somebody that's done it before you and yeah. get a bit of experience yeah. behind you it's although i don't know everything yeah. i i still ask questions to some people yeah. and you'll never you'll never grow or you'll never learn if you if you i guess you, you think you know everything yeah yeah, yeah. you just shut everybody out and you do your own thing you'll yeah you'll you'll be back working for somebody pretty soon um, one question I thought I might put to you, Andrew. Uh, 
you're a builder, you're a business owner, you would be able to probably get maybe into the minds of other builders more so and better than I can. You would understand what some of the hesitations are, maybe to reach out or to come on board. What would you say to someone that is a, a good fit that we know would work, but they're hesitating, what would you? Take the step, it's worthwhile, definitely. Um, it's, uh, people are always scared of something new and they don't know what they're doing. And I, I, I guess you look at it the other way. If you don't know how to do it yourself, get someone that does do it and knows a, is a professional for it. Uh, like I'd tell somebody that wants to build their own home or wants to be an owner builder and it's they've just paid a hundred thousand dollars to an architect or they, they they think they can manage it themselves have a second think <laughs> how, yeah how how much how well do you think you're doing at your social media at the moment or how yeah, yeah, yeah look at I guess look at what look at what other people are doing and compare it to what you're currently doing if you can improve well then why not um, just quick rapid fire questions if I say it's so a money input so investment yep. versus value output tenfold 20 fold so far great um, on one project <laughs> uh, what about the ability to say no to clients, yeah, uh, yeah, definitely a good a good option. Def, it's it's given me the opportunity to be able to step back and say, no, that's not our to that's not our project. We're not, I'm not a specialist in that. Please contact this person or pass it on. So there's guys. Uh, I don't have the direct uh, like. There's a quite a volume of leads coming through and where we've been working through and qualifying that whole yeah. making sure we qualify those leads that come through and a lot of them aren't suited but the ones that i do come through that we've qualified are then like they're great leads they're good there whereas before i used to spend a lot of time with these people and i'd find out after meeting with them and spending a couple of hours that i didn't want to do the project and then you feel obliged to do the project because you've spent all this time and they're invested in it mm -hmm. and you've invested your time in it. Yeah. Uh, so that's one good thing. It's freed me up a lot to focus on the things that I want to do and yeah. specialise in that, I'm, that I think I'm the, good at. Your, that qualification process, so your, your marketing and I guess a bit of the sales process up until you might have that first conversation. Yep. Um, how does that look? Because that's a big question that some people ask. How does, how's your qualification process changed, maybe? Uh, well, a couple of things, the way that we're advertising, I guess, is is helping people or making, letting, getting people to or, or answer a few questions is one good thing mm -hmm. um, that we've set up. And it's, it, it gives us information, it gives me information before I need to make the contact it saves a half an hour phone call in, I guess, a quick time frame for those. And and it's sometimes I get negative feedback from the having those questions there, and they've come through. But I think that's that's just as good because I've got that information at the start of the process. I haven't wasted a week, fifty hours, yeah. quoting their project, and realised that I don't want to build it for them. <laughs> because they're not they're not suited yeah. to my process and they're not my ideal client they're yeah. not who i want to i guess associate with yeah definitely uh what would you say to someone who <clears throat> is fearful of coming on board because uh the leads will just be too overwhelming <laughs> you're like, in the wrong industry because <laughs> <laughs> no. one thing that often comes up people might say oh no i believe it works Yep. Um, I just want to go away and get stuff sorted, you know. Oh, no, why they're procrastinating. Yep. Um, you'll never be ready. If you've got that mindset, if you're always putting things off because you, you want to make sure you've got your website up and running or you want, you want to 
you want to finish off a couple of projects, there's, yeah, that's a, I think that runs deeper than, than I guess what you're trying to achieve. Yeah, there's, yeah, why not? Why not now? Yeah. Really? And if, if you've got a, if you've got a hundred excuses in your head, you need to, I guess, step back and look at what you want to get. Uh, look at the end result, yeah. not what's in front of you now. Yeah. And yeah, it's a definitely a good way to get to the end result quicker. Yeah. Or <laughs> then you've got another, you, I guess, then you hit that goal and then you take the next step as to what's after that. It's not, it. it's not the end result. It's not like you're on your deathbed. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, once you climb that mountain, there's the next mountain. Yeah. 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 Um, uh, how much time have you, have we needed of yours? Some people think it's a, they come on board, we're going to take weeks and weeks of your time. Oh. Yeah, months. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh. yeah, very minimal. For the, I guess, for the, the result or for the output that we've got, I mean, what did we do when we did the story, story development? We did a couple of hours together, if that. Um, you said we had a really quick conversation at the start when yeah. I came on board and then filming was, we did a day, well, not even a day. We had a few hours in the morning, then we had a break at lunch, and then a few yeah. hours in the afternoon. Yeah. And that was, that was for the, I guess, the overview story. Yeah. And it's, you, I guess we're not making a documentary. Mm. <laughs> we're not following. That'll be next. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We're not we're not following me around yeah. twenty four hours a day or, and and doing the 30 that. Thirty days straight. Yeah. yeah, watching everything in that regard. Yeah, it's you can get a lot of value from little snippets and little bits of bits of video, yeah. compared to a single photo. I don't know about the time frame that you guys have spent in the background. That's your department. <laughs> I imagine it's a hell of a lot longer doing that part than what I've spent in front of the camera. Mm. A little bit longer. Yeah, yeah, a little bit, yeah, just a little bit longer. Andrew, big thank you, man. No worries. Really thank appreciate you, mate. It. Really appreciate it. So, if you really enjoyed that interview that I just had with Andrew from Black House, would love to hear your feedback and take that into the next interview and make sure that what we're discussing is relevant. Uh, and valuable information for you guys. Also, if you'd like to have a chat with me to see whether or not our strategy would work for you, click on the link below and book a strategy session with myself and would love to learn more about you, your business, and see if and how we can help.